Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Vishal from My Web, and in this video, I'm just going to update our brand data using Ajax. So, in the last video, you already know how to how how we can uh, fetch the single brand data using Ajax in our pop-up model. When I click on this edit button, and we got the category name and the brand name. Now, uh, it's it's time to update our brand data using Ajax. So, I'm going back to my form uh, brand.php file. Okay, so here we have uh, the brand dot PHP and here we have here we have the Ajax request of the jQuery. So uh, in the line of one hundred fifty, I changed the value of the form type, which is the hidden element. Uh, as you can see, uh, in in our proper model, we have the form type and that's a it's the input type hidden. So I just changed the value of the form type is um, like update underscore brand and I'm going back to the my brand underscore action dot PC file and take another action uh, if condition if uh, dot underscore post when we have the font type equals to and what's the value of the uh, font type it's update underscore brand so I just copy this Let's copy this and paste it here for not mistake for not any take any wrong in our value and just echo statement echo this is an update brand condition okay now let's save and check in the browser now I'm opening my network tab and here we have the network tab and just refresh once more uh, for this and click on the edit okay and just remove this and click well, now i'm going to click on the update button uh, once i click then we, we need to got the got the result of that uh, now we got a brand action and this is an update brand condition only okay so we got this update brand condition so uh, I just remove this line and going back to this and let's check what we got in the print underscore r so I, uh, I echo a pre tag for let's check for che for checking what what we got in our post method so I print underscore r dollar underscore post okay and die to now save and now click on the update again now we got the category name the brand name Samsung the brand ID is nothing and the font type uh, okay so where why you're not getting the brand ID okay mm, let's check let's click on the update again we will not get get the brand ID so let's check in the brand dot file okay and okay we have the brand ID but we're not uh, setting the setting any value in the brand ID so I just check in the console log so I'm coming back to the edit of the jQuery here we have the edit and just check the console response in the console log so console.log and response and now refresh clean and click on the edit okay now clean again click on the edit now what we got okay okay here we have the brand underscore ID so we just need to pop set the value so I take another selector dollar underscore so a dollar and ID is brand underscore ID and set the value is alias the first uh, key 
the first key of array is zero and dot brand underscore id now let's save and check in the browser again i just refresh this page and click on the edit okay and now click on the update now we got a brand action okay now we we got this uh brand id and when i click on the edit again and again when you when you are click on the update button we got the, again this is the brand id4 the camp brand name wheat okay now let's update this all the things from my my backend side so i just take the dollar data and let's check in the brand table here we have the brand table so brand underscore name arrow dollar underscore post it's a brand underscore name sorry a comma and what we have the brand underscore slug underscore name so brand underscore slug underscore name equals to we just need this line same line okay i just copy the same line over here and paste it mm. okay and now um, now we we need to get the uh, crud method of the update method from the crud file so i'm going back to the my class folder and check in the crud.php now we have the update method so i just need this i just copy the same line of the method and now again i make object so dollar object called the object and store it into a variable update underscore query now the table name is brand and the variable is name is same as well and now uh, where so we got the where brand underscore id equals to dollar underscore post brand underscore id okay i just store them uh, i just store them into a local variable uh, in the top of them so it's a brand underscore id so brand underscore id equals to this and now i just take the variable name now and if if, if the update query is run successfully then it's showing a message sorry uh, curly braces Mm, I take equal data equals to and set the status it's uh, 201 and a message mm, the brand data successfully successfully updated and I just echo into a JSON encode session encode and uh, so it's output so 
I just change this into the output and change the output so output now it's good now check in the browser I save it and check in check in, going back to my browser and refresh it okay I just change the width to the let's click on the edit change the category of the clothes and change the brand name is editors now click on the update okay the brand data successfully updated and now let's check in the browser okay it's not updated as always so how can you send me this data Mm. Okay, so it's a dollar. Uh, I, I I just forget to put the dollar ID. Okay, and check in the browser again. I just click on the update once again, and check in the browser. Now it's Adidas, and the uh, brand's log name name is Adidas, and it's in the category. Now click on the okay what we need to got the uh, status one okay we just need to change it to one only so let's save it and click on the update once again now it's cool now when i click on the second edit and change the category from electronics and change the new samsung to the American tourist just for fun so I just click on the update so now uh, as you can see we we got the we got the output of the updated data from the brand table so as you know how can we get, get the uh, updated brand data from the backend side using Ajax so in the next video we are working on the product list and work on the product database and product form for uh, fill fill the product values into our project so meet you soon in the next video and stay with me happy coding